What's up everybody, my name is Sean Pitts. I'm the video projects and programming editor here at the Orlando Sentinel and all around tech enthusiast. And today we have an iPhone 6 to unbox for y'all. So let's get to it. Oh wow, that is a striking, I totally threw off my what I was gonna say because that is an amazing, uh, amazing looking phone, man. And when you compare it to my old iPhone 5, it is, wow. This is just the iPhone 6, not even the iPhone 6 Plus, And it is much larger, wow. I'm uh, very glad I actually went with the 6 and not the 6 Plus now because that is striking. And for a guy who uh, wears skinny jeans uh, seven days of the week, uh, I don't think I can get the Plus in, in my pants. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take it out here. Oh, wow. First thing picking up, it's way lighter. It is way lighter than the old one. Yet, obviously, bigger screen size, bigger footprint. Also, the, the, the size, the thin, it's barely thinner, but that just tiny difference, tiny difference just... It makes all the difference. All right, where's the where's the power button on this? I guess it's on the side now. The power button's on the side now here. It's a little different than it being on the top how it normally is. Let's go ahead and power it on here, see what it... Yep, that's your normal startup screen. Oh yeah, and on the bottom here, you got your lightning connector, which again, these this bottom panel, they've made slimmer somehow. Every time I look at one of these, I, I can't imagine, because I always, I, I know that this, um, the mini plug for your headphones is going to be what limits them and how thin they can get this phone. But each time I see it, I'm just amazed that they can squeeze every little millimeter out. On the other side, you have your normal volume buttons and your silence mode, your vibrate mode, back on volume buttons. Your camera here on the back with a what looks to be a much larger flash. As you see here, the iPhone 6 has a, a, the camera actually kind of bulges out from the body here, which is a little bit of a concern, whereas on the 5 and all previous models, it's flush with the back of it. I, I wonder when I set it down, I, I'm one of those guys that, here that goes caseless with their iPhone, which I get a lot of criticism for. Um, but I wonder when I set it down on tables and re at restaurants and places and it kind of, and it's uh, bulged out like that. I wonder if I'll end up scratching the uh, lens uh, during the lifetime of this phone. Let's see what else is in the box here. I believe there should be a, yeah, there's a pair of headphones and of course your, your charger here, which the headphones is um, something that Apple's been leaving out of their iPad and iPad mini products, which is uh, kind of annoying, but I'm glad that they included it with the iPhone. The uh, iPhone 6 Plus, as you can see by our printout, it looks huge. You, you think that these printouts can't be the proper size, but they are. I'll put the 5 where it goes, I'll put the 6 where it goes, and good grief, I can't even imagine the iPhone 6 Plus at that size. That is just... Um, that is just a massive phone at that point. All right, y'all, well, I hope this unboxing helped y'all uh, get a feel for the new iPhone 6. Um, I personally, I can't wait to see an iPhone 6 Plus out in the wild. I just, I can't imagine a phone that size, but we'll, an iPhone that size, but we'll, uh, we'll see. And I can't wait to get this set up. For OrlandoSignal.com, I'm Sean Pitts.